good YouTube, it's your boy the Franchise Guy, coming at you again with another episode of MLB 19, the show, Road to the Show, featuring the greatest third baseman of all time, Chance Bishop, yeah, you're hearing it here, Chance Bishop's the greatest third baseman of all time, move aside A-Rod, move aside everyone, we're here to stay, we're cementing ourselves as a top 10 player, to ever play third base. I mean, we're probably the best third baseman in the league currently. I mean, sure, that wasn't pretty. That was a really ugly strikeout, really. But sure, hold up. Got to think. Oh, well, what about uh, what about Rendon? What about Moose? What about uh, Matt Chapman? I mean, I can't disrespect Matt Chapman. Matt Chapman's a Gold Glover. Matt Chapman, in my opinion, and Chance Bishop's opinion, really, it's what I think of right now. And, Whose opinion am I talking about? Because my opinion, Chance Bishop's opinions, are two different opinions. As we struck out for the third time that game. Jeez, Louise, we are on a cold streak. But, Matt Chapman, dirty, dirty man when it comes to fielding. Perennial goal glover, 25, 30 home run power, I feel like. You know, you get Anthony Rendon. Man's batting over 300 currently. He's 100 some RBI, RBIs, RBIs. Got 30 some home runs. I mean, he's he's having a real good season, a real sleeper MVP year, really. But you know, he plays for the Nationals, not the Dodgers. But uh, Chance Bishop, Chance Bishop has what everyone wants. He has the power, he has the looks, he has the really crappy, you know, John Travolta swordfish goatee right here. And, uh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, Contreras, Hamilton, Duba Herrera, Billy Hamilton, for some reason, really scared of us for whatever we're doing right now. So, as he's intimidated by our appearance. The goatee has him shook. Who knows what we're doing right now? We're we're chilling. We're having a ball. We're having a grand old time, really. But Chance being pinched it right here. Where we at now? We're not. We're at a PNC Park right now. Good old PNC. Look at that. We are pinch hitting and we are doing horrible as always because we do god awful pinch hitting. But we're taking on uh, Adonis Medina right now in this game. Medina, Philly's top prospect. There's a whole, a whole lot of rumors around him that they would trade him for a big time piece at the trade deadline, and it never came to anything. I mean, part of it's probably because they traded Sixto Sanchez, you know, during the off season for JT Realmuto, you know, the best catcher in baseball right there. But Bishop getting a bases clearing double right there. And look at that, swinging on a pitch, real inside. Medina still in here. And does that have enough carry on it? It does not. Thought we could have just taken one that was super inside on us. Kind of jammed us and just take over the wall. Chase one right there for the strikeout. I mean, we've been striking out a ton recently. Like, an absurd amount of strikeouts. I think that's like our fifth strikeout of the game so far. I think there's... Our entire minor league season we play in the minors. I don't think I struck out at all. During an episode of that. I think I struck out at least like five times this episode so far. Like, so we're striking out a ton. Like, yeah, another strikeout right here. It's like our second of this of this game alone. Got Bishop, you know, lining one to the third baseman right there. You know, he can fire in time because Bishop has you know, some snail legs right here. Not not the fast. And another strikeout. Top twelve, you know, and we strike out. You know, could have given us the lead. Getting hit, pinched hit for again, Hoskins. Not looking too happy he stood up, but nope. No, no, no. It's us down 9-1 to one in the top of the 8th. But we get a single right here, so this pinch opportunity goes fairly well. Better than the last one, at least. That's all I can ask for. We have to get on base this time. Next game, we're going to fight one the other way. It's going to land right in front of the left. Right there. He probably could have got that. Definitely think he could have gotten that right there, but he did not for whatever reason. I'm not going to argue with him. Next at bat, we're going to send it to the left fielder. Can he can get him that one, unfortunately. 
top six. We're down by four right now. Bishop gave that a ride, but not far enough as the right fielder catches that one. But with top eight right now, Bishop gets another behind this one again, and it's just going to be another can of corn. It is a straight can of corn. Right there, and you know, one thing Bishop doesn't like are cans full of corn. Especially when we get line outs to the first baseman. Jeez, he got some acrobatic plays right there. And it's taking hits away. Probably a double right there at least. But two outs going to get another ground out to first base right here. Jeez, Louise. Top six right now. We're up by a run. Bishop just going to pop it up to the catcher. Like, we are not even making it hard on them. But we're doing something wrong here. Like, we're doing a lot of things wrong here currently. Not even something, just a lot of things. Have a 3-1 lead right now. Bishop going to send this one just over the outstretched glove of the first baseman as we get a single. Take that one away from us, number 14, why don't you? But do it away in this game right here, which is always a good thing to do in episodes. End the episode off with a win. I mean, sometimes I feel like if I end the episode off with a win, it'd take forever because sometimes it's going really long losing streaks for whatever reason. But if you guys like this episode, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what your favorite part is. Tell me who you think your favorite third baseman in MLB is. Tell me, do you think Anth if Anthony Rendon's going to win MVP over Cody Bellinger? I think Bellinger has the home run numbers. I think he has the, you know, he's in the spotlight more than Rendon is. You know, Bellinger plays for LA, but Rendon plays for Washington. So I think Bellinger has that edge right there. But as YouTube, peace out, rock on, and stay super classy.